directing is a big, big job. I'd like to dip my toe and see if that's what's right for me but I'd also like to see what else could be right for me Mm -hmm. like I used to I did darkroom photography for like six years Mm -hmm. and so I've always been a really good photographer and that's something that I would love to get back into Um, but I feel like also everybody and their sister is a photographer now too is like everyone's a makeup artist like everybody you know is like but at the same time like if I want to do something then I can there's no reason why I can't yeah um And so I do want to eventually get behind the camera because I feel like that's just where my life is leading. Everything that um, happens in my life, I never have to really, like, it just kind of happens. Like Mm -hmm. the porn thing, like, you know, it just happened. Like I found those messages, I called, I made it happen, Here, here I am. So like when I'm meant to be behind the camera, that opportunity I think will present itself Mm -hmm. and then I will go for it. If it doesn't, we'll see. But I know I'm a little bit away from that. Like, I've noticed I really enjoy writing scripts. When I wrote that script, like, I really was into that. And I really like creative writing. So that's Mm -hmm. always something that, you know, I can do. So there's a couple things that I want to do behind the camera besides just directing. And I kind of want to dip my toe in each of those little things before I figured out, like I even, I, I've said this a couple of times, but like I've wanted to PA, like I've wanted to do like another job on set besides, you know, but I've, I've always heard that like people make judgments about like, well, if a female talent starts doing that type of stuff, maybe she isn't shooting as much or like maybe she isn't. And it's mm. like, I don't think it has to be looked at like that. I think that's just hearsay. Like people can do whatever the fuck they want. And if they want to go and try a couple days of doing that, then that's completely okay. I think it's great to start with PAing because I mean, that's how you learn. It's How, the foundation of everything. Yeah. yeah. I mean, because being a model, like you're not going to be able to absorb all that information because your job is to be there yeah. and to perform. Right. So, you know, being a PA, I think, is definitely like a more, um, yeah, I mean, it's a great introduction. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, you know, the person that I am dating, I definitely feel like I met him for a reason. Mm-hmm. Like, like the way that I was saying that people come into my life and things come into my life for a reason. I don't have to really search for them. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, I feel like I met him for a reason as well. And like, he's taught me a lot of stuff and Mm -hmm. that's really exciting. Um, It's also something that I was very resistant towards because I want to learn on my own and Mm -hmm. I don't want anyone else to be the influence as to why I learned that, you Mm -hmm. know? And he tried to let me know like, where else are you going to learn from? Mm-hmm. like I'm right here you yeah know? and I'm like I know but I want to learn on my own <laughs> you know do you feel like you would then maybe owe him something like if you became successful or started working and then you would feel like you or like he would try to claim no your knowledge or your success per- um, no he's not that type of person mm-hmm. no I, I don't I don't think so I don't think I would owe him anything at all no I, I what I'm worried about is everybody else of being like, well, she's only doing that because, you know, she got that because, you know, and that's just, and here's the thing, that's just the name of the game in this industry. Yeah, I mean, like, I only got to where I'm at because of my mom. Right. Like, if anyone's, you know, like, I wrote in on Suze Randall's coattails. There's no fucking denying that. Yeah. Like, at all. So, you know, and I'm sure that people at the beginning of my career said, you know, oh, well, she's only doing this because and it's 100 percent true. My mm-hmm. mom, like, gave me her knowledge, her assistance, her mm-hmm. cameras, her sets, her studio, all that stuff. But I also, like, worked really hard to, you know, stay where I'm at and to also, you know, like, you to prove succeed yourself. in my and yeah. prove myself. Like, yeah. I work really hard and I also taught myself a lot of stuff. Um, and I and I learned from other people, like mm-hmm. working for other people, shooting for other people. But, you know, I mean, 100 yeah. percent, I. I, I mean, we all get somewhere because of somebody else. Yeah, exactly. Know? And that's what he was trying to explain to me. And I was just being a stickler because I'm just like, because that's the thing is like, I, um, well, I'll, I'll just be very honest. I know what people sometimes think, you know, yeah. and it's like, I remember thinking those types of things mm-hmm. about certain people. Like, I'm like, oh, well, she's only getting that because she's with that person. Mm-hmm. But then I remember working with that person. And then I went, oh, she doesn't just get that stuff because of him. She's a fucking fantastic performer. It's a specific, 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 specific person that I'm talking about. I won't name names. Yeah. But now with me, it's like, you know, I proved myself. You mm-hmm. know, like, yes, I got those opportunities, but I had to show the fuck out. Mm-hmm. You know, I couldn't just 
be there and then do that and then keep getting those. Mm -hmm. You know, it was because I proved myself. Mm -hmm. And I think that's something I also always have to remind myself is that, you know, I'm a good fucking performer and that's why these things keep happening for me. Yeah. You know, I'm doing it. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.